whole thing. I get them. You can get them uh, cast uh, from like 3D printed. You can get people to 3D print stuff, which is awesome. I love 3D printing. There's a tiny butterfly right here. Right there. On that bush. Alright, should we do like an interview? Let's see. I, I need to get like my interview voice. There's another butterfly right here. You just talk casually. Hi, my name is Griffin Cordell at the Barnett Gallery, and we're here with Tyler Hoff, artist, uh, sculptural artist, and miniature maker. Uh, we're here at his uh, first solo exhibition, Bones of, Bones of the Earth. There you go. How'd you get the title? Oh, it's, it's like working series. about them and now they're just part of the foundation of you know different geological formations and stuff like you know that's actually really that's actually a really good point because i think when you look at this and especially when you think of like archaeology in the context of like how everybody usually thinks about it you know they think about like dead things under the ground that have like been dead yeah so it's cool that you're kind of rethinking that idea and introducing like so much like that into these objects i wanted to do it like, I guess like what about your, your process of making these kind of like how do you how do you start them? Because uh, I, I know that there's so much detail that goes into these things. I'm sure the detail probably comes last and great. It, it does, yeah. yeah. It all kind of develops as I as I work on stuff. Um, with stuff like this, if I want to stack things or figure out a shape, you know, if there's multiple skulls, I have to figure out how I want to position them and how I want to stack them. This one looks totally different. Started in a slot in the hallway, I think. But I kind of liked this one just kind of sitting on here with one cat corner and gave it a neat shape. It gave it like a nice little, you know, sort of cave thing going on. Um, and I mean, that's how I do most of them. I'm not great at drawing. It's really horrible at like drawing out my ideas. Um, so most of the time I sit out at my desk with a couple of skulls and I put them together and figure out how I want them to sit. Who you have like designated skulls for that? Yeah, I have a whole bunch of them. I've got files of them sitting around. I've got some that I just collect, uh, but the ones for, for this kind of stuff, I have, uh, they're all over the place. They're on my back porch, they're in my workroom. I clean a lot of them myself, because when I get them, they're not, they're not clean. None of these are clean. Um, how did you, how did you learn to do that? Yeah, uh, a lot of talking to people on the internet. There's forums and stuff for people that do taxidermy and stones and stuff. And, uh, yeah, I just learned how to clean them and stuff. It's a lot easier than you think it would be. Most of it's just kind of let nature take its course. Gotcha. Uh, it's all white and ugly. It's a little bit of stuff, but it's just crazy. The rock side is nothing crazy. I see. And, uh, yeah, I mean, I'll pass these in forever. They're not out in the sun all day long. It doesn't really break down. There's no moisture. It doesn't really break down. It doesn't really eat it. Um, it's got so much paint on them. That it uh, I've made multiple. This one's uh, been like the sole one that I've been working on lately. Most of the time, uh, I get so busy, you know, with my other job, which you know, I have more thank God. I can work on multiple at a time now. Gotcha. Uh, when I wasn't working on full time, yeah, sometimes we're going like two uh, Usually with ones like this that are real more complex, I like to just focus on one.